Serving the 10th State Senate District located in Macomb County, Senator Tory Rocca defines himself as an independent voice for the citizens he represents. And as the voice of independent retailers, the AFPD can appreciate his public service approach. Senator uh, Rocca has been a good friend of the AFPDs for a number of years. You know, I've been here for um, a little over four years and I can remember uh, Senator uh, Rocca, even when he was on the House side, was, was a good advocate for the organization. He's been always, he's always been a good voice on the reg, reg reform committees in the House and now the Senate. And he's been very open-minded to different ideas and he's very consistent in, in an area where you have um, members that see term limits come in and out. He's understood the policy for a number of years because his, his family is a family of public service. And it's really important that you have guys like that who understand the big picture and don't just take a quick vote. Um, because a quick vote could definitely hurt members like ours who've been in the business for 10, 20, and 30 years. Tory Rocca uh, has been a right-hand man of, of the AFPD in protecting the rights of small businesses in the state of Michigan. Uh, there probably isn't a better listener. There probably isn't a better uh, figure who really knows every single bill that's before him. And he's been a really good listener in asking the AFPD to be at the table with him at every turn. Anything involving uh, a bill on liquor, on alcohol, on food, and on retail establishments, it's Tory, Senator Tory Rocca who brings us to the table to find out what impact it has on us. He's an outstanding legislator. Um, I had the pleasure of serving with Tory and um, he's moved on to the Senate and um, thankfully chairs the Regulatory Reform Committee which is a great asset to the state because he understands the industry I think better than anyone else in Lansing. As a member of the Michigan House, Rocca fought for taxpayers voting against recent increases to Michigan's personal income tax and helping to repeal the state's tax on services. He is just as committed to his constituency in the state Senate. Senator Rocca has been a, a lead as the head of uh, the Senate Reg Reform Committee. He's been someone who's been uh, tremendous to work with and he's been a real leader in protecting the rights of both consumers and the retail store owners here in the state of Michigan. Senator Rocca grew up in the public Public service sector. His father was elected to the state house when Tory was just one year old. That meant as soon as I was old enough to you know, shove a piece of campaign literature in somebody's hand or stand out of the poll or do anything, uh, I, was I was working on campaigns. Rocca believes public servants should be held accountable to their constituents and has practiced what he preaches. Rocca has maintained a 100% attendance record and after a two-year term in the 96th legislature, it was reported that Rocca had a perfect voting record. He chaired the House Committee on Regulatory Reform and now as a senator, he chairs the same committee on the Senate side. Rocca has dealt with many issues related to the AFPD. Last year when everybody was, was um, jumping on board for the ORR recommendations from the governor and some of them were very drastic saying you know give every gas station beer and wine license or you know getting rid of the half mile rule or things like that. Um, the senator really didn't jump on that bandwagon. He said he took more of a wait and see approach. He said let's take a look at this. Let's not jump on to this. Let's um, not piecemeal this. That's look what's best for the overall state of Michigan, what's best for the industry. And, and we really appreciate that because some people that are, don't understand um, the legacy of public service that his family has and are just first time uh, elected to Lansing may think that let's just do A, B, and C. And they don't really get to appreciate or understand the bigger picture of why the rule is a certain way and what's the history of that rule. And the senator really does understand, number one, and he understands the history. And I think part of that is because he has a family of public service. And um, he really understands the needs of our members who have been there for 10, 20, 30 years um, with, with all their livelihood tied into this, you know, small store. The people who work in the FPD and also the people who run the businesses that are members of the FPD uh, have been very good about um, uh, running their businesses, paying taxes, and, and frankly, dealing with uh, a somewhat compl complicated re regulatory environment when it comes to alcohol issues. So they've been really great to work with um, as f f in terms of being a legislator, but also just 
have a really great group of small business owners who are creating jobs and economic activity and doing their best to obey sometimes some complicated laws and paying taxes and just making a great contribution to the state. And Senator Rocca looks forward to continuing his work with the AFPD. Just that it's been it's been a, a very good relationship. You've got a, a very good team here. Um, good to work with. Audet's been very good to work with. Paul's been very good to work with. Uh, and it's just uh, I hope to continue that relationship. It's been it's been it's been very positive so far.